before we begin, we are not special. We're not smarter than any of you. We don't have any access to secret information. But many here on YouTube are making wild claims about our imminent future, 2012, claiming to have some secret sources, information, some secret answers that you do not have. And many YouTubers are blindly following, engaging in what amounts to hero worship amidst their alleged awakening, rather than truly thinking for themselves. Now nobody knows what is going to happen, and if they tell you otherwise, they're lying. The following is the best conclusions we can make regarding possible causes of collapse of modern society, or worse, but these are just guesses. The first concern is simple, and it's the onset of another world war. The economic strains have reached every corner of the globe and unfortunately the situation is spilling over beyond economics, as the EU and US temporarily stave off disaster in favor of more debt and a harder fall to come. The behemoth of China is showing slowed growth and anxiety as the US encroaches in the South China Sea and instability lurks in the Korean Peninsula. Russia and China's interests in the already volatile Middle East are very important to them economically, but right now act as just another Jenga block that the West threatens to pull from their fragile construct. There are two options here. Let Iran go nuclear, or let the fighting begin. And while the notion of many New World Order conspiracy theories surrounding World War III go a bit far in their suppositions, the issues surrounding chemtrails, GMO foods, freedom-stealing legislation, Ridiculous foreign policies, weather modifications, and lies and control mechanisms built into religion seem to indicate that this war has been preordained, presupposed outcome with a future of the human race already conceived. In our opinion, the scarier concern is Earth changes. Something is happening to the fabric of this universe and we are beginning to prove in science that physics is changing. Something's on the horizon and the evidence can be seen all over the solar system. After the experts said we would have a fairly weak solar cycle, the sun decided to exceed maximum expectations for May 2013 before December of 2011. You want to see how the sun is charging up the planets, just look at Venus or Jupiter in the night sky. What a sight. You know about the weather records, more than 2,000 broken in the United States alone. Volcanoes and earthquakes on the rise, an uptick in UFO sightings, strange vortices seen in the Gulf of Aden and near Antarctica. The list goes on. Some say it's a rise in frequency, some say it's a shift in energy, others say the Lord is returning and that this is Armageddon. Whatever is happening is new to modern knowledge and we are seeing strange anomalies in our protective layers, so solar storms and other electromagnetic events in our environment are of extreme importance. Now, Although NASA will go to great lengths to debunk loony 2012 theories, if you take a little time and put their serious stories together you find out that our protective layers are unstable. Pole shifts are very real. The sun is surprising everyone with its activity and solar storms could take out satellites or fry power grids here on Earth. They say damage could be two trillion. Trust us, that's way too low. One puzzling aspect of the electromagnetic vulnerability of Earth is our ability to affect the electrostatic discharges in our ionosphere and other layers. Now harp and technology like it, even if only ever used for scientific study, have unexpected effects on the E and F layers of the ionosphere caused by heating of the D region. For a full explanation on why this makes our situation worse, see link number one in the information box below the video. Now CERN recently pegged the sun as the prime player in climate change. And while pollution clearly isn't helping the situation, it cannot precipitously ionize and cause instability in our F layers. Now for a full explanation on how our F layer is changing, See links number two and three below. Now you might be saying to yourself, hey, I'm just worried about an X-20 flare or the biggest CME ever. And you're trying to get me worried about slow climate change? When we pass a certain point, our system will begin to change rapidly. And do not forget what is beneath the polar ice. Do not forget what caused the greatest extinction of all time. Now amidst the potential perils of tomorrow, there is hope. And if you're anything like me, your awakening has been half concern and half seeing opportunity for a better tomorrow. Many of you want the sun to hit the reset button and many of you believe consciousness is rising and perhaps even becoming collectively complete. If aliens touch down in 2012, are you really going to be that surprised? 
If you're anything like me, you believe that this is not a time of Armageddon, but a cosmic cycle that left many people alive last time to tell us the stories of floods and star people coming down to Earth. While we can see the benefits of the sun knocking out the power, starting over fresh, we cringe at the potential suffering that would bring. Rather, we hope that new theories will replace the standard. New energies will become available and the true nature of our solar system will be revealed. It is our hope that with all of our power, humans will finally exercise the responsibility that comes with it. The suffering of the humans and fauna here on Earth is the greatest hurdle to our ascension to light, moving on to a better place, being a good race of people as a whole so that we graduate to the next level. Ladies and gentlemen, if you stick around here and you have a commitment to enlightening yourself, I can promise that we will bore the heck out of you many times in the near future. The truth is not always interesting and it's not going to be as easy as just sitting around and waiting for the world to change into something better on its own or for the answers to just poof appear in front of your face and it's not going to happen overnight. And while we may not always be interesting, we will always bring you the truth. Be safe everyone, let's do this thing the right way.